This is a football from 1913. That's 111 years ago. This is the first ball ever used for downfield passing in football. And this is a current NFL football. In this video, I'm gonna compare both of these footballs and put them through a spiral test, an accuracy test, a distance test, and then I'm gonna try to complete some routes with the watermelon style ball. Look how much wider it is in circumference. I don't really know how effective they were throwing the ball, but that's what the point of this video is. We're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna see how well this ball compares to the modern NFL football. Let's get into it. Bro, this is a basketball? <laughs> this is the first time I've seen a lady nose head on ball. If we can throw this, we should be able to throw that. So nice, we have it so good with footballs like this, man. Imagine if we had to use that for all the catches. <laughs> Shoot. You'd be like that. <laughs> Now let's see, like obviously we could throw this, we do it every day, it's, it's light work. Look at that though. The f oh! Bro, I'm not gonna catch that, it kinda hurt. <laughs> Why is this so heavy? No, it is heavy. It's super heavy. No, the real question is, was anybody back in the day really hucking this? You gotta be really loose with your wrist to get this one to spiral. If you try to be like too stiff through the release, it's not gonna work out. You gotta have that Steph Curry wrist. Ooh. I'm gonna get into this accuracy test and we're gonna see how accurately I can throw this football. This is the accuracy test. So I fastened a ring to the middle of the crossbar with a cone taped directly in the middle and from 20 yards away, I'm gonna see how many attempts it takes me to hit it with the 1913 ball versus the modern day Duke NFL football. This is take one with the NFL ball. Pretty good. NFL ball took three tries. Now for the melon ball. I'm honestly kind of scared. I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to throw this accurately, but we're gonna give it our best shot. Ah. It feels so heavy in my hand. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of feels like I'm throwing a basketball, like a weird shaped basketball. Take two. It's a little big, so it, like, it doesn't get through the same way the NFL ball does. I just gotta move with some rhythm, and I got it. Easy money. Oh. Misses right every single time. <sighs> I hit it, didn't go in. Shout out Pastime Sports on eBay. If you guys wanna get your own 1913 ball, Go check out his page on eBay. I think it was like $100 total with one day shipping or whatever. I wonder how far the average pass was that they even threw back then. Cause there's no way they were throwing this yeah. 49 yards downfield. <laughs> I don't think so. What is he like, 30? I can't even, it's so hard to not lose off to the right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, distance test. I'm gonna see how far I can throw the NFL ball, and then how far I can throw the 1913 first ever downfield pass ball. I don't even, whatever you call it, the watermelon ball. How far I can throw the watermelon ball. So that was about 61 yards. It landed like one yard out of the end zone. Now I'm gonna throw a GST, just for extra comparison. Let's see how far I can throw the GST. Wow, that didn't even go as far as the NFL ball. That went like 59, that was two yards short. So 61, 59, now let's see how far the watermelon ball is gonna fly in comparison with both of those. 
All right, let's go 50 plus. Yeah. 51 yards and I only tore every ligament in my elbow and shoulder a little bit, not too bad. It's about 10 yards difference, but the toughest part about throwing it farther is how heavy it is getting it from back here mm -hmm. to out of your hand. Cause it really wants to like, it really wants to stay back here and then fly out to the side like this. So getting your arm through mm -hmm. and getting through the ball is kind of a struggle. So this is roulette. Each route, one of them is gonna get the 1913 ball. And the other ones are gonna get either an NFL ball or the GST. We got easy ups. Say go. Say go. Hey. Say go. Say go. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Say go. Say go. Throwing the three balls, it's a crazy contrast because I'm throwing this watermelon, then I'm throwing the NFL ball, and then I'm throwing the college ball, which is even smaller than the NFL ball. So, I don't know, I really gotta be locked in or else I'm gonna start missing a lot of throws. Say go. 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 It's hard to hold it and get it out quick. I'm not gonna lie, it's tough. Like I don't have the type of like grip that I have with these. Say go. Say go. I miss right every single time. Say go. Nice catch. You might miss right again. Say go. Say go. This is gonna be tough. Don't wanna post. Say go. Yeah. You guys feel like it's easier to catch or no? Yeah. It's just heavy, huh? Yeah. Say go. Say go. Severely underthrown. I slipped when I tried to throw it too. Say go. Say go. Yeah. Say go. All right, there you guys have it. The first ever downfield football thrown versus an NFL ball. This isn't really like a practical ball that you will use to train and get better, but it's kind of fun to play with. It's a cool artifact. I don't know, just for playing casual catch, messing around, it's kind of fun, you know? Obviously, if you have smaller hands, it's not the ball for you. Me personally, I have small fingers, but I have like huge palm size, but I can still grip it decently well. So if you're still here, drop me a comment so I know who the real ones are. I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.